So someone named Ray commented and asked if I could show him how to hook the Spark 40 up to PreSonus Studio 1 to record, and that's what I'm going to do. So at this point, I am assuming that you have your Spark plugged into your computer with a good USB cable, and you've got the positive grid USB audio device control panel installed as well. This is the ASIO driver. And I would go down to buffer settings and set it about 256. That seems to be the sweet spot with low latency. So once you've got that installed and set up, then you can push that to the side and fire up Studio One. Now that we've got Studio One fired up, you're going to want to come down here where it says Configure Audio Device. As you can see, I've got an audio box USB 96 plugged in here, and I want to change it to the positive grid USB audio device. And I'm going to make sure my samples match my ASIO driver. Uh, do they have to? I don't know. I figure if it's not broke, don't fix it. So once you've got that settled, hit OK, and then hit New Song. Now this is important right here. Over here in the song, you can do the song title, sample rate, resolution, all that good stuff. Now, because my audio box is set at 44.1 kilohertz for sample rate, I'm going to get an error if I hit OK. See, it says sample rates does do not match your audio device configuration. So that's OK. I can hit OK. I can go back up to File and New Song and just drop that down to 48, which is what the Spark runs. 48 sample rate, kilohertz sample rate. Hit OK, and we're good. So I'm going to come back over here, see if I can make this bigger for you. There we go. That's better. So you come up here in this spot right here, right click, and add audio track mono. So now that you've got your track set, you can see mute, solo, but you can't do anything with them. You can't record, and you've got no input because it doesn't know what driver or uh, what input you're using. So you go down this menu right here and go down to audio input output setup. And then this will come over here. And you're going to leave your outputs just like they are. You don't have to do anything with them. Go to your inputs and hit add mono. Once you add that mono, you can hit OK. And then you come back up to that drop down menu one more time and choose input one. Now you can click the record button. And as you see, we have audio. So you can record. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to show you that I can record it. So it's working. I can't really, I haven't figured out how to monitor back through my audio box. So everything's going through the spark, which I have over here. You can't see it, but you can plug headphones into that thing and you can monitor everything through the headphones through that. So you, you can have it right on top of your desk, plugged into your computer, wearing headphones through the, uh, through the spark and monitor everything like that to include drums. Because once you add drums to studio one, it's going to use the spark as your input and output. So it's going to monitor everything through there too. And now I tried using the spark through Reaper and I was getting a lot of latency and I could not figure out for the life of me how to fix that. It just it wouldn't fix it no matter if I tried adjusting the samples down too low, it wouldn't work. And so, yeah, if you got Studio One, you can download Studio One from Positive Grid. You can get a free copy of it, and you can do it that way. I haven't tried it with any other anything else like Cakewalk or anything like that. So if you want to, it's probably basically the same setup. You go into Preferences, you choose your audio input-output device, and then configure it from there. So I hope this is helpful in trying to set that up for you and get you going and recording. I actually really dig it that I can record like that because I didn't have a whole lot of confidence the first time I tried it because I kept getting that 44.1 uh, kilohertz error, and I, I couldn't figure out at the time what it was, and it wasn't that important to me. So when Ray asked that question, I was like, well, let me, let me really try this. So, and I have, and everything seems cool. And there's like very little latency, if any at all. And you might be able to change that down with the driver and the, uh, the sample rate within 
Priest Honest One. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried going lower than 256, but it might. So that's it. I hope this helps. We'll see you next time.